Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you miss any of my most awesome videos. In front of us, we have the GE model number P4845. This is an AM, FM, instant weather portable radio. I found this on eBay and like new in the box for 25 bucks. Wow, it's really cool. It's like a time capsule back to the past. This radio was built in 1974, and wait till you see its condition. It's absolutely amazing. So let's look at the box. Came in. Let's look at the model number. Picture the radio with instant weather. You got bullet points on the side there. I don't know if you can see them. The white and blue. Two-way power, ACDC, slide rule dial. Uh, we have two antennas. People who don't know that, I get that off and on. Uh, yes, you have your telescoping whip for FM and ferrite rod for AM. Cord storage compartment, nice. You all listed. Back is the same thing. So yeah, this radio 1974. Got the original box. Got original staples there. Nice. Made in Hong Kong. All right. So I took everything out of the box, make it easier for us. Set that down to the side. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna lower this down and show you some paperwork. Paperwork's kind of cool that it's all there. Um, first thing, it looks like a warranty card. Ownership registration certification. There's your mile number and a serial number of the radio. Uh, there you go. Date purchase. You'd fill this out. And I think on the back, it's like a postcard. You just put your stamp on there. And there you go. That's definitely old school. All right. And here is the General Electric service list for the radio. It has all the different places you could take it to. So here you got Wisconsin, got Green Bay, all these different authorized dealers for GE radios. It's pretty cool. And I got the date pretty much off of this document. It says May 1974. Printed in Hong Kong. That's where the radio is made. There you are. And then we have the user manual. Use and care guide. Read instructions thoroughly if before operating. Okay. So yeah, it's got little do's and don'ts. It's kind of nice. Illustrated. Battery operation. I'll tell you, putting the batteries in this radio it's not a joy. <laughs> it takes four double A's, by the way, in case I forget to mention it. Um, it's got FM with built-in AFC. Yeah, I wish it didn't, but I wish it was selectable. That'd have been nice, but it still worked. There's the weather forecasting. It's uh, two frequencies, it looks like, and I try tuning mine in. I can't get 550 real well. I get 500, so I could just make it out, uh, but I won't be able to show that in the video because it is difficult for me to tune it in, but I can get it if I aim the antenna a certain direction and hold it there. All right, so that's the thing. Oops, right at the back side. So you got service. Okay, you get the idea. Let's bring out the radio. Here it is. Loving the design of this one. Okay, it's got a handle. I'm sorry, bring this up a little higher here. Okay, there we go. So here it is. Let's go over dimensions real quick, then we'll talk about features, and then we'll turn it on and hear it. See what it sounds like. So yeah, the GE40, P4845 dimensions are six inches across, eight inches in height, and we have a depth of two and a quarter inches. So it's quite the thick radio. It's still pretty cool. I like this little carry handle, <laughs> digging that. Let's do a little size comparison. This will be pretty easy. I'll just put my little CC pocket right here. <laughs> Where the speaker's at, you get the idea. That's the current time, it's around 10.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's usually when I do my reviews. Here is CC Skywave. If we get on the AM band tonight, I usually like to do that at the end of the video. I'll do some tuning and this will be my frequency checker so we can hear what we're hearing on the analog band in case I get lost. And of course, last but not least, we have Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He loves GE radios from Hong Kong land. Yes, he's Iron Man. <laughs> there you go. Alrighty. <laughs> uh, let's talk about features of this radio. Yeah, so we'll start with the left hand side. You can see it has a fixed antenna. Uh, it doesn't uh, rotate, which is kind of a bummer, but it's uh, quite a long one. It's 31 inches. Pretty awesome. Uh, it's pretty indicative of that time where they have exposed side antennas. I like that. This thing is just mint. <laughs> I'm loving how nice this is. The plastics are perfect. If it was used, it was maybe used once or twice. Um, yeah, you can barely tell that it was had any use to it. There was no dirt. Everything was perfect. Um, the handle, actually, 
on top here is like a vinyl and it was pushed all the way down and I reformed it by just taking one of my EBL battery packs here and I jammed it there and let it sit for about a month and it worked. <laughs> Fixed it. So let's look at that dial. Let's bring it up here. So we have FM, you see it's 88 to 108, standard. And you see some log marks there, it's nice. In the middle band, you see it says instant weather. Um, if you can tune in those two frequencies, it'll work, in go it'll work good for you. For me, it's tough. And in the bottom, you'll see it says AM, so it's 550 to 1600. I'm not sure where it top tops out at. We'll talk about the AM reception a little bit. Um, so there you are, and you got your band select switch over here. Top is FM, middle is instant weather, turns orange. And of course, bottom is AM band. So we'll go back to FM because we're going to do a little audio check. Uh, in here, we have our speaker grill, solid plastic, three inch speaker behind there, nice. Down at the bottom, General Electric, got a tag, looks really nice. Uh, two way power, beautiful. Right hand side, it has an aluminum placard too for your tuning and volume controls. All right, bottom of the radios, got a nice little stand to it. Top, I showed you the handle, love that handle. It's Really nice to maneuver with. And on the back of the radio, it has some writing. Shows where it's made. Uh, made in Hong Kong. It's vented. And if you look here, it's a weather tune. You move this back and forth to tune in your weather frequency. Um, again, I try that. It's, it's Like I said, my area, it's difficult. Here we have an earphone jack. And I'm not going to really open this up because it is a bear to open and close. It would be difficult on camera. But underneath this battery compartment, there is a long, uh, slender four-cell pack for double A's. Um, it fits in there really tight. <laughs> it's a bear to get in there. And then down here is a well for your AC cord. And at the bottom, you look, there's a little notch where the cord comes out. It's a pretty slick setup. I'm liking that. All right, so let's talk about FM reception. Then we'll turn the radio on and do a little audio check with it. So FM reception, I like to do it on a five-tier method. Um, I do OK, or sorry, fair, OK, good, very good, excellent. Uh, most analog radios, such as this one and others like it, I always bring this one out. I got my other General Electric, this one here. Uh, they all usually score okay to good right in the middle. Uh, it's average, 48 stations found. This one found 49. So it's very typical uh, uh, testing standards on analog radios in my location. That's as many as I get. I give it a, a nice moderate average rating. And FM, excuse me, FM selectivity was okay to good also. The AFC, AFC circuit did hold it back a little bit because there were some faint stations trying to break through, but the AFC circuit would overbear uh, it and you would lose your faint signal and it would latch on the stronger station. It's, it's unfortunate, but it still sounds great for 1974 with nothing changed, no recapping, nothing. So new, out, new like new out of the box, pretty cool. Like I say, a time capsule, it's so neat. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so... We're going to turn it on. So on the side here, we have volume on off. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. And we'll go Radio Totterbert. We'll probably have to tune it in. So we're at FM. The switch wasn't all the way engaged. We'll play this for a few minutes. Now I like to use this... Uh, C crane FM transmitter transmitting at 92.9 megahertz hooked up to an mp3 player playing royalty free music from YouTube gotta love it so we'll cycle through a few songs and then we'll touch base on the AM band and give you final thoughts on this radio so enjoy this classic
go. You got an idea for the audio? Yeah, just check my other videos. Uh, I do the same thing in every video. You definitely can compare them because if you're using the same headphones, my videos recorded with the same microphone and everything, you will hear a difference between a tinny radio, bassy. This one here has a, a more tone to it. Uh, lends itself really nice in AM band, which we'll hear tonight. But uh, yeah, there you go. So I did that. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so we can do an AM band scan. Um, I'm going to try to tune in that weather band and show you kind of what we're doing there. And I turn off the power to that. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and go in the middle, the oranges, turn this up. You can just hear it. If I extend the antenna, I have to really get the volume going. Wednesday, northwest winds to 30 knots, diminishing to 15 to 25 knots. Waves 4 to 6 feet, occasionally to 8 feet, subsiding to 3 to 5 feet. Wednesday night, north winds 10 to 20 knots backing to west. Waves to so I got my instant weather. Yeah, it's coming in good tonight. Okay, good. Glad to hear that. All right, I'm going to retract this antenna. You have to point that direction, too. <laughs> okay, let's go to the AM band. Sweet. Yeah, no, having all these three bands, 1974, could you imagine? Uh, having this radio, uh, walking around with it. I mean, you had it all. You had weather station, you had your FM music, you had your AM news radio and talk radio. A uh, lot going on with this. This is amazing. It's down all the way. Uh, we're going to start at the bottom of the band. We'll work our way up. I usually like to do some band scans on the AM band. Uh, really quick, before I get started, uh, the AM band during the day, this is really solid for local listening and for some local stations. I think anything faint, forget about it. It didn't pick them up. Um, usually the rest of the dial is pretty quiet. Uh, it took a lot of volume to try to get something uh, faint out of it. Could it need recapping? Probably not, because I've had GE radios like this before. We're during the day. It's solid on locals and semi-locals, and it's pretty much fine by me. Plug it in with the AC cord, and off you go. You got a great shop radio. You got a cool classic you can show off to your friends. I mean, I'm loving this dial with this chrome embellishments. I think that's neat. I'm just really digging the, the blue middle there, instant weather, too. Just, yeah, just me. So let's go ahead and turn this up. Uh, we're on the AM band. Uh, I think it wakes up in the evening, of course, like most radios. Let's see if we can pick up some stations or distance. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. There we go. Well, that's nice. This is CHLO, Brampton, Ontario. Coming in clear. The funny thing is, the other night I was using a CC Pocket, and it was a horrible night. And I was doing a band skin. You guys might have seen it yet. I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah, this is beautiful. This is a day later. <laughs> Loving it. Uh, 400, 441 miles. It's supposed to be 250 watts. Expecting parents or grandparents or visitors? Then visit visitorassurance.com for best rates and hassle-free claim experience. one 800 That's excellent. the lineup where you're most concerned, but you still can't sleep really on any part of this WAUK 540, Jackson, Wisconsin, 70 miles away, 400 watts. Today, PatriotMobile.com. They stand for your values, and right now, until November seventh, they'll give you a free. Here's five sixty to be IND Chicago. Again, the locals are going to come blasting in. I got to do some volume control. In stock. Build your own bundle with multi-line discounts, and also they have premier activation. What else we can find here in the dial? the decision is if she really believes in the cause and the service here's 620 WTMJ Milwaukee Wisconsin 52 miles away 10,000 watts at night but the, the certainty is that she'll be able to help others and go ahead and do the form <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, crossing stations or something there. CFCO, 630, Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts. Okay, the music there is uh, WMFN 640, Piatone, Illinois, 75 miles away, 1600 watts. Yeah, this is fun. You know, it wakes up in the evening, you have some fun tuning it, maybe be able to DX with it a little bit if you want. Yeah, this is just a cool, just, I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I was probably too young to enjoy this radio, but uh, very cool nonetheless. So you hear them say State of Tennessee, this is WSM 650, Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Country music, of course. In cooperation with the Tennessee Association of Broadcasters and this station. This do it right savings tip is presented by the Home Depot. Pros today have to do whatever the job calls for, and the Home Depot is here to help me. Nice dial indicator. I love these orange, slender, and it's marked pretty well on the dial there, 650. You can see it latches on the strong stations and a lot of volume. 670 WSCR, Chicago, home of the Cubs. There are uncertainties. A, it's it's almost impossible to predict a, a 10-year run on a division, let alone a 20-year run. He got a head start. He's ahead of the other quarterbacks in the AFC East right now. Volume in this. Uh, voluminous uh, Stephen King is when it comes to his writing. Oh, yeah. I, I, his, his favorite works of mine are his collections of short stories. I, you know, I find him to be quite tedious, actually. A anyway, uh, we'll talk more about books and uh, tomorrow night's vice presidential debate when we come back with Jay Armstrong on the nightcap on 700 WLW. I said it. Your job is getting that load there. So yeah, there you go, 700 WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles from me. Awesome. So yeah, it's the time, and uh, we're Central Standard Time near Chicago, in case I forgot to mention. Our distribution centers located around the U.S. and overseas. And even though sightings for the bomb didn't actually stop at that point, that is a, a really well told story. And, and if there's one thing. 720 WGN Chicago. Storytelling. And that that particular wave of events fits into a traditional storytelling. Okay, that music there is Zoomer Radio, CFZM. 740, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Yeah, I love when it comes in nice and clear. Like I said the other day, this couldn't pick it up. None of my radios could pick it up. It was like, uh, this is picking it up beautifully. And then the uh, roadside assistance to protection service. So now I'm wanting to know what... Right next to it is WSB 750, Atlanta, Georgia, 630 miles. Everybody acts like if you get it. Here's WJR 760, Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. Savage Nation. <laughs> they did they did this thing where he said savage. And I don't know, I was reviewing the radio and it shook the radio. It was awesome. <laughs> While I was filming. Amazing. And he's not dead. And he's talking and walking. 
At this moment, scientists is not completely self-sufficient, the American half. And that's our design fault, and that makes this more critical why they have to get So we're having some strong stations kind of bleeding over, but we were able to get some distance one. Let me... Nice. So this is 770. Uh, this is WABC, New York, New York, which is 750 miles. There's a certain diplomacy involved in not, you want to not sound like a look see whether they want to change from Cairo Santos or are just worried about Eddie Pinheiro's ongoing injury issues. 780 WBBM, Chicago. Reichel is the newest member of the Blackhawks organization. The Hawks snapped up the winger with the 17th overall pick into the We're going to go center heavy. Uh, I just, you got, I, I think they got the best player that they could have possibly got with Marco Rossi, who plays center. But you look at the rest of the pipeline, there still aren't a lot of centers in it. I think that that is something they will prioritize. It, it's something. Bill Garrett has repeated time and time again, any time we've got him. So this is 8.30. This is uh, WCCO, Minneapolis, Minnesota, 310 miles. Yeah, cool. Focus on going forward. And, you know, some of these kids, when they play in juniors, they put on three recognizes what's on the rise, but there's a replacement in the system of ethics. This is 40 coming in kind of faint. So they have ground zero and coast to coast during the weekdays. WHAS is Louisville, Kentucky, eight, uh, 300 miles. There. It's 850 KOA Denver, Colorado, 890 miles. Mixing in with a music station, it sounds like. Non, ce qu'on prendrait que la réponse plate, c'est non. Euh, les systèmes immunitaires, ce sont des centaines de protéines différentes impliquées. Ce sont des centaines. Ah, 860 CJBC, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Probably going to go up to like. Yeah, let's see about this part of the dial, and then we'll probably call it a night. Maybe go to the top of the band and hear what's there. And yeah, during the day, it wasn't as exciting as it is right now. So. How can we stop spending so much and getting so little by shifting to a... So 870 here is WWL, New Orleans, Louisiana, 865 miles. Here's 880, WCBS. Waiting for call letters. Okay, you guys probably recognize the voice, though. Nine hundred CHML old time radio on Hamilton, Ontario, four hundred and thirty miles. Love the station when it comes in clear. Well, 
quicker? Okay, it's not designed to be a year-round unit. Mm. So there are no buried water. Here's 990. No We're in Canada right now. Uh, CBW, Winnipeg, Manitoba. So it's a matter of if we can uh, 675 miles. That will stay accurate. In our daughter's driveway in a family travel trailer in Mission. In the Eastern Conference Finals against Boston. After Here's 1000 WMVP, Chicago, Illinois. Jimmy Butler knocks down a hoop for tied at 83, and that's our turning point brought to you by my computer career, training for a better life because the very next possession. Only pay for what you need at LibertyMutual.com. Are you ready for what's next? I think this is KDK Pittsburgh. More food shortages, power outages, grocery stores closed, social unrest. Ask yourself. So yeah, KDK Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 450 miles. At least 30 days. Come Most Americans beautiful. do not, but you can. Mm -hmm. You kept on reminding me nearly every day of what? Take three step steps forward. WHO 1040 Des Moines, Iowa, 280 miles. Even if you didn't keep one tenth of a quarter, now I'm just going to go all the way up. Ed Flash Barrett's here for South Heating, Cooling, Plumbing, and Storage. Don't matter. Social distancing doesn't matter. Yeah, I'm going to speed up to the top of the dial. Um, put it in reverse. Going back to the 1940s, 50s, when we had... Here's 1610 CHHA, Toronto, Ontario. Nice. I think it's 1650 on right now. It's a... Oh, it's fading. Come on. That's it, 1650. Sweet. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off. This is classic. I love it. <laughs> it has to go back in the box so it stays nice. But yeah, there it is. The the uh, P, I forget already. I got the box here, 4845. Um, interesting number, I know. Usually they start with sevens, but this one's uh, earlier. So it starts with the P code, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, give me a big like. You guys are the best. I like reviewing these vintage radios, especially getting ones that look this nice. Uh, just classic all, all over it. Just loving that. Just, yeah, it's amazing. Um, definitely happy to have it in my collection. Um, if you enjoy GE radios, you like reviews, you like band scans, you like me to compare them, let me know. Uh, just subscribe at the bell icon. Make sure to comment below what you think about the GE, uh, the P4845, do you like its FM, instant weather, AM, the fact the style is 1974, that it was like a time capsule found in a box like new? It's awesome. <laughs> Just let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.